put it over here. This is the. This is. Let's, let's start this again. So this is a one. Let's drag it down to the rest of the eight numbers. So these are all ones. So species one. These numbers eighty one point eighty six, and the next seven cells are species two, and finally this is species three. Grab this little corner, pull it down to all three. So for example, the 29.14 is hot climate species three. Let's double check that. 29.14 is a hot species three. You can see the pattern among all the others. Um, at this point, we don't have to even save this file. Let's just cut, let's, let's copy this whole three by 25 or 75 cells copy go into the homework again use stats crunch as we just let's, let's enlarge it maximize it let's take the data load the data through the pasting process paste data from clipboard and there it is now what separates the data the white space as opposed to the stat crunch data which is uh, separated by commas let's continue the, the first line is the column names so that's checked off Low data, new table, new data table. It's okay. Hit okay, and now we have the result, the, the data, very similar to the, to the um, Excel format, climate species response. Now we, and this goes should be again there are eight times three or twenty four of them, twenty four rows of data, twenty four uh, actual data rows. Now statistics, ANOVA, two way. Responses are found in the response column because we labeled it. We prepared for that. The row factor is found in the now. This could be what are the rows? The rows were the uh, the climates. The columns were column. You know, this is really you can really reverse these two. But the column was the the species one, two, and three in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a, a vertical column. And where we're not using next. We want to, this, we want the interactions for the I think some of the homework questions. We want to display the means was what is the average species one. In the hot climate, and we don't want to fit an additive model because we do want to see the interaction. The interaction is almost the opposite of the additive model. Hit next, rows per page, columns per page, color scheme default, calculate. This is the main ANOVA table. Notice, remember, the degree of freedom is the number of groups minus one. So there were there were two climates, there were three species, so there's two, and the number of degrees of freedom is the the, the not this this times this so one times two gives you two more importantly the p-value like is there interaction yes there's interaction meaning that if you graph these things in a few minutes we'll see the graph they're not parallel the species differ and the climates differ everything's significant here the average cold species species one is 90.87 versus 80 versus 90 so clearly this species two differs then from the 90 and the 90 the graph of these things is found over here uh, species one, species two, species three. As you go from cold to hot, they the averages of these responses go down, but they seem to go down quicker in the blue and the green, which is species number one and three. As we saw before, the number two is going down more slowly. Now, looking at it from the opposite point of view, just reversing the 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 um, what goes along the horizontal axis. From now we see. The species, as the species go from one to three, uh, the cold and hot are op working in opposite directions. The cold goes down for species number two, and 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 for species number and for the hot, red, it goes up. All right, that's it. I hope that's enough to answer some of the questions and all the home questions in the homework relating to two-way analysis of variance. As always, please give me feedback. I'm not getting feedback, to tell you the truth, but please let me know to encourage me to continue making these um, videos. Let's get out of here.